Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the class. Good evening, sir. Uh, today we are going to discuss about a cancer case that is mouth cancer case, tongue cancer case. And uh, I have requested wife of Mr. Yogendra Singh to come up and tell about tell us about the whole uh, history of the case. So since she has some she has some other engagement today, so I'll request her in the first go, I'll request her to tell about her husband's case and then later on she will quit and uh, she is not available on uh, visually on uh, net because of some internet problem in the area. So she will be talking to you on phone, through phone. Uh, Bandana ji, aap uh, बताइए शुरू से कि कब कैसे ये केस डिटेक्ट हुआ था और उसके बाद सिलसिले में क्या-क्या चीजें हुई हाउ थिंग्स हैव हैपन एंड क्या ट्रीटमेंट्स आपने करवाए और अभी कब से आपने जायरोपैथी शुरू किया है और आपको अभी क्या कंडीशन है और क्या बेनिफिट्स हैं ठीक है सर जी को योगेंद्र सिंह को सन 2019 में माउथ कैंसर हुआ था सर टंग कैंसर जी लेफ्ट साइड में तो उसके बाद हमने इन्हें अपोलो कैंसर इसमें अपोलो दिल्ली में दिखाया सही तबियत में हॉस्पिटल है जो अपोलो कैंसर इंस्टीट्यूट में दिखाया था तो वहां पर उन्होंने बताया कि आपके टंग में कैंसर है हर स्टेज का कैंसर था सर इसमें जी फिर उन्होंने सर्जरी की इनकी 14 अक्टूबर में सर्जरी हुई थी इनकी पहली बार फिर उसके बाद इन्होंने कीमोथेरेपी और रेडिएशन वहीं पर चला था इनका पूरा ट्रीटमेंट वहीं पे होने के बाद फिर इनका ट्रीटमेंट पूरा हो गया सवा साल के बाद फिर वापस फिर आ गया इनका 2021 में फिर आ गया फरवरी में ये फिर वहीं पर टंग में थोड़ा पीछे हो गया जो पहली बार होता था थोड़ा पीछे अटका हुआ फिर उसके बाद फिर सर्जरी हुई इनकी दोबारा फिर सर्जरी करी फिर रेडिएशन तो नहीं हुई थी कीमोथेरेपी फिर हुई थी चार कीमोथेरेपी हुई थी इनकी दोबारा की बार में वो हमने मेरठ कराई थी वैलेंटिस हॉस्पिटल मेरठ उसके बाद फिर 2.5 साल तक ही बिल्कुल ठीक रहे 2.5 साल तक कोई दिक्कत नहीं आई ये तो छोटी मोटी तो चलती रही कि कभी इंफेक्शन हो जाता कभी ठीक हो जाता यही चलता रहा अब अक्टूबर में दोबारा फिर बीमार हो गई है 11 अक्टूबर में फिर हमने इनकी तीसरी बार सर्जरी फिर कराई तीसरी बार सर्जरी होने के बाद फिर इन्होंने कहा कि डॉक्टर ने कहा था कि कीमो तो नहीं देंगे रेडिएशन देंगे अपोलो हॉस्पिटल वालों ने बताया था मैडम है जो मनो बतौरिया उन्होंने और इनकी हालत ऐसी नहीं थी कि ये रेडिएशन बर्दाश्त कर सकते शरीर सब बहुत ही वीक हो गए थे इनका वजन शुरू में 84 था 60 हो गया था वजन भी तो फिर हमने जगह-जगह पैसा चला लिए हॉस्पिटल में दिल्ली में कई हॉस्पिटल में गए इसमें मैक्स में भी गए यशोदा में भी गए हम बीएल कपूर भी गए इसमें वैलेंटिस मेरठ भी गए किसी ने कोई तो कीमोथेरेपी बता दिया तो कोई रेडिएशन बताते रहे हमें फिर इनका मन ये बोल रहे कि हम नहीं कराते बल्कि कीमोथेरेपी मैक्स हॉस्पिटल में कराई भी थी उस एक हफ्ता उन्होंने वहां एडमिट रखा इनका 3 किलो वजन कम हो गया उस एक हफ्ते में वीकनेस आ गई बहुत ज्यादा फिर हम करा गए वो एक करा था कीमोथेरेपी फिर जाना था मैं दो दिन बाद फिर बुला लिया उन्होंने ये बोले मैं नहीं जाता कहीं भी उसके बाद फिर हमें एक लड़की मिली सीमा डिस्पेंसरी मिली थी वो मेरे बेटे को उसने आपके बारे में बताया जा रहा है के बारे में बताया कि भाई ऐसा ऐसा मैं बीमार हो गई थी 2021 में और मुझे डॉक्टर ने जवाब दे दिया था कि आप एक बार आप भी वहां से देख लो जाकर भाई क्या पता आप वहां से ठीक हो जाओ तो फिर हमने सर सर कांटेक्ट करा कांटेक्ट करने के बाद फिर हमने वहां की इनकी ये मेडिसिन शुरू कर दी 14 दिसंबर से शुरू कर रखी हमने मेडिसिन दो महीने कंप्लीट हो गए तीसरी शुरू हो गया महीना परसों से 12 तारीख से तीसरा महीना शुरू हो गया अब इनकी हेल्थ अच्छी है वैसे वजन में भी इंप्रूवमेंट है और थोड़ा बहुत तो चक्कर है सही इंफेक्शन वगैरह तो होते रहे एक दो बार कभी हो जाता फिर ठीक है सर आराम है आपसे काफी अच्छी है हालत इनकी ठीक है बस अब यही बात है सर तो आपके आपके अनुसार लगभग कितने परसेंट रिकवरी है बिकॉज़ आप तो पेशेंट के साथ हैं मैं तो सिर्फ आपको फोन पर सुनता हूं हां जी वो भी 70% बताया था मैंने आपको उस दिन भी 70% के करीब आराम है हां जी इतना आराम है ना जी जी 
हाँ जी ठीक है मैम क्लास आपको कुछ क्वेश्चन पूछने हैं वंदना जी से किसी को कोई सवाल पूछना है इनके हस्बैंड के एलिमेंट को लेकर सर एक क्वेश्चन है वंदना जी से हाँ वंदना जी आपसे एक सवाल पूछ रहे हैं मुकेश मनीष जी वंदना जी मैं पूछना चाह रहा हूँ कि आप जब ट्रीटमेंट में थी एलोपैथ में अपोलो में सरिता बिहार में तो थर्ड टाइम आपने जब सर्जरी कराई तो आपको क्या लग रहा था कि अब इसके ट्रैक में जब मतलब यहाँ सब शुरू हो गए शुरू में तो डॉक्टर ने बोला कि एक बार सर्जरी कर दूंगा तो ठीक हो जाए फिर आप दूसरी बार तीसरी बार जब तीसरी बार सर्जरी आपको क्या लगा कि आप लगातार डॉक्टर ने बोला था कि देखो भाई भगवान के ऊपर बात है ऐसा कभी नहीं होता कि भाई एक बार पेशेंट के ऊपर बात है किसी किसी के तो ऐसा हो जा कि एक बार हो गया फिर ठीक हो जा दस बीस साल कोई दिक्कत नहीं आती बोले तो किसी को छह महीने में भी हो जा किसी को एक साल में हो जा बोले तुम्हारी किस्मत है तो तुम्हें बार बार हो रहा है सर ने ये बोल रहा था कहना सर्जरी करा लो बिल्कुल ठीक हो जाओगे सर ने तो यही बात बोल रहा था मैं अपोलो हॉस्पिटल में आप जब जायरोपैथी में आई है हेलो हाँ जी आप जब जायरोपैथी में आई है तो आपको क्या लग रहा है कि वो जो आप ट्रीटमेंट करा रही थी और ये ट्रीटमेंट करा रही है दोनों में कंपेरेटिवली शुरू में लगता है कि ये काफी कॉस्टली दवा वगैरह बहुत ज्यादा है काफी कॉस्टली है लेकिन अब जब आपको अच्छा हो रहा है तो अब कैसा लग रहा है की वो ये ज्यादा बेहतर है ये सस्ता है या वो सस्ता है ट्रीटमेंट नहीं सर यही बस बेहतर है तो बेहतर तो यही है जब महंगे सस्ते की तो कोई बात नहीं पेशेंट ठीक होना चाहिए नहीं ज्यादातर पेशेंट को शुरू में लगता है क्या कि ये जायरोपैथी काफी महंगा है मैं इस एस्पेक्ट में पूछ रहा हूँ आपको क्या लगता है ट्रीटमेंट तो वो भी काफी महंगा है वो भी बहुत महंगा ट्रीटमेंट है काफी महंगा ट्रीटमेंट इससे महंगा है हाँ जी काफी महंगा है वो भी ठीक है थैंक यू और मैम एक क्वेश्चन और है हाँ जी हेलो जी हाँ एक क्वेश्चन और है अभी आप जो जायरोपैथी के सप्लीमेंट ले रहे हैं क्या अभी एलोपैथ की मेडिसिन भी कुछ आपके चल रही है साथ में नहीं सर बस माउथ वाश चल रहा वहाँ का माउथ वाश है एलोपैथी वाला तो बेंसिलिन लेना है कभी या बीटाडीन ले लें ये तो बस बदलते बदल डॉक्टर साहब ने कहा था की मतलब तो ले ले तो ले ले तो हाँ सर ने बोला है इनसे पूछा था सर से की ये मौत वास ले सकते हैं सर ने कहा था की ले सकते हो ये तो अच्छा है ओके और उनकी फूड हैबिट खाने की इच्छा कर रही है जनरली हाँ की के दौरान खाता नहीं है नहीं अब तो इच्छा होती है खाते तो है अच्छा मतलब उनको भूख भी लग रही है मन होता है कि खाया जाए हाँ जी नहीं भूख लगती है के दौरान ऐसा हुआ होगा कि उनकी खाने की इच्छा भी मर गई होगी हाँ जी नहीं कम हो जाए कीमोथेरेपी से तो भूख बहुत कम हो दाने दाने से भी हो गए तो कीमोथेरेपी करा था तो नहीं कमर पे हाथ पे पेट पे दाने दाने से निकल आए थे वो उसका साइड इफेक्ट होगा उसका कीमो का थैंक यू मैम टीटीपप टीटीपप ठीक है सर एनी 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 अदर क्वेश्चंस और आई रिक्वेस्ट वंदना जी टू वी क्लोज हर लाइन सर एक क्वेश्चन पूछना है जी वंदना जी जी आपसे मुकेश जी एक जी। सवाल पूछेंगे वंदना जी ये सर को जब स्टार्ट हुआ तो उससे पहले कुछ धूर पान बीड़ी सिगरेट गुटखा का सेवन करते थे क्या योगेंद्र जी या कैसे पता चला आपको सर ये नाइन्टी फाइव जब गुटखा का यूज करते थे फिर वो है हाँ। दो हजार दस तक यूज कराया अच्छा दो हजार दस छोड़ दिया था बीमार हुए फिर हाँ जी अच्छा अच्छा और ये काम बिजनेस था सर्विस थी क्या छोड़ दिया अच्छा क्या काम करते थे क्या काम करते हैं बिजनेस है या कुछ ये दिल्ली पुलिस में जॉब करते हैं सर एएसआई अच्छा दिल्ली पुलिस में है ओ ओ अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है ठीक है ठीक तो अब तो सब कोई बीडी से कुछ नहीं लेते होंगे ना सब छोड़ दिया 
नहीं सर दो हजार दस में छोड़ दिया था बस बीड़ी दो सिगरेट तो कभी ली नहीं सिर्फ ये गुटखा खाते थे बीड़ी सिगरेट कोई नहीं कभी नहीं छुआ था शराब छुई कभी पी के तो बस गुटखा ऑनली जी जी ओके थैंक बाकी क्वेश्चंस हम बाद में कर लेते हैं जी सर वंदना जी के लिए कोई क्वेश्चन नहीं है तो आई विल रिक्वेस्ट हर टू जी जी क्विट द फोन ठीक है वंदना जी थैंक यू वेरी मच फ्रॉम द क्लास एंड आप आप आए आपने क्लास के साथ अपने विचार शेयर किए थैंक यू वेरी मच और अभी आप अपना फोन क्लोज कर सकती है नाउ आई विल डिस्कस द केस थैंक यू जी बाय Okay. <clears throat> so this was <clears throat> Mrs. Vandana, wife of Mr. Yogendra Singh, who has been suffering with lung cancer for last almost four years, and has undergone through various treatments. Now <clears throat> we will discuss the reports which are available with us. Does the class can the class open the reports on your phones? Sir, are you coming? Yes, sir. Akrish, do you want me to share the reports with you? You will balance, no? Okay. <clears throat> Hello, sir. Which toothpaste you suggested to her? No, I uh, to that person. I didn't suggest any toothpaste. Mm -hmm. I suggested him to use dentaline. Okay. Dentaline is an oil which is which is a produce of gyro. Okay. he has been told to clean his mouth with dentaline as well as apply dentaline 3 to 5 times daily okay okay now i'm coming across a lot of people those who are having the cancer yeah. so i share your number and name also but uh, many times people uh agree and many times they don't no people oh, don't have to agree uh, i i have been telling that only those people will reach me who are destined to be treated by me yeah so right 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 it's not a worry whether they get connected or they don't get connected oh. people can uh, they will get connected all those who are uh, this thing destined they will reach through you to me i plan to oh. come to next week to delhi so i will take your time and we'll meet yeah yeah we'll meet okay so <clears throat> let's open the first report and it is a histopathological report that is basically a biopsy report so let's read the report and understand what this report means dr rajeshwari can you can yes, Can you kindly read the report? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, sections from anterior posterior bone margins are not involved by tumor, which closest posterior bone margin one centimeter away from the tumor. Tumor invades through cortical bone of the mandible. So final uh, fi final pretty stage is. pt4 a moderately advanced for local disease advise clean uh, 
क्लिनिको रेडियो क्लिनिको रेडियोलॉजिकल को रिलेशन now this is a histopathological report which says the sections around 1 cm of the lesion that is origin of the cancer were taken and examined and time ho gaya in the mandibular region and this shows moderately advanced local disease and Kindly, kindly keep your microphones off. If somebody is at the background, kindly keep the microphone off so that background noise doesn't disturb the class. So <clears throat> it's locally uh, seen in that area that there is a cancerous activity in this uh, place. Now. <clears throat> Next report is a discharge summary. So, Doctor Rajeshwari, can you read this discharge summary if you have? Yes, sir, I have, sir. Okay. Uh, sir, from diagnosis only, I'll read. Sir. Yeah, you read from the. Uh, yeah, rest of the things are not required, which are on top. Yeah. You diagnosis. May yeah, diagnosis onwards, you may read. Yes, sir. Uh, diagnosis, carcinoma left RMT, follow-up case of tongue left lateral border, anterior one-third, surgery in 2019 and 2021, adjuvant chemo radiation in 2019, and adjuvant chemotherapy in 2021, hypothyroidism, hepatitis C virus infection, treated 2018. And the surgery, uh, this is not required, no, sir? Surgery. What and surgery they do? Yeah. So, this is the history of the case, wherein it was first initially detected in 2019 in the tongue, left lateral border of the tongue, inner side, and the surgery was done in one third of the tongue was removed. And in 2021, it reoccurred again. Thereafter, uh, the chemotherapy, after the surgery, the, uh, he was given chemotherapy and radiation both. And in 2021, his surgery was done again because there was a reoccurrence in the same region. And he was only given chemotherapy. Thereafter, it again reoccurred in 2023. And again, his mandibulectomy, that is mandibular region near this jaw, this bone was cut and removed because it was happening in this region. And the surgery, reconstruction surgery was done on 11th of October 2023. Thereafter, they have already told you that they tried to go to various hospitals and they got one more chemo done. And after this chemo, he had 3 kg of weight loss and they, the family finally decided not to continue with allopathic line of treatment and they started searching for something else. And in that, they happened to accidentally come across Seema, who, whom you have already met in the class. She came here with her ailments yes. and discussed with you. Yes. So she is, she is also in police and she happened to, and this patient is also happened to be in Delhi police. And they must have got connected and she must have told you, why don't you try gyropathy? And that is how the case came to us. Then we move on to the next page where you can see the tablets being given, advice on discharge. So this is discharge on which date?
Who will read the course in hospital and discussions? If somebody can clearly see this. Dr. Rajesh, yeah. can you see this? Yeah, yes, just read. Course in the hospital and discussion. Mr. Yogender Singh was admitted under Dr. Feroz Pasha. Reference was given to Dr. Shahin, a senior consultant, plastic surgery. After informed consent, pre anesthetic checkup and physician clearance by Dr. Yes Chatterjee, patient was taken for uh, taken up for surgery on 11th October 2023. Procedure: WLE of RMT tumor with with posterior mandibulectomy on 11th October 20, 2023, done by Dr. Siroz Pasha under general anesthesia. Left oral carcinoma surger, surgical de defect primary re reconstruction using left PMMC and split skin grafting by Dr. Shahin. Um, Nure Zadan. Findings. Uh, Tumor over left RMT of size approximately one, one centimeter diameter. Postoperatively, patient shifted to ICU. Patient managed with IV fluids, antibiotics, analgesics, and other supportive medications. Now, patient is stable and being discharged with drain on following advice. Okay. So, these are the medicines which have been given. And if you see the number of tablets which are being given, is not less than what we give in uh, Jairopathy. Yes, sir. <laughs> also, yes, sir. Although, although people say that supplements in Jairopathy are huge, but here you can see the mm. number is not lesser than what we are recommending. Maybe few tablets, they are still short of Jairopathy, but they are also giving good quantity of medicines. Medicine. To yes, sir. sir. Oh, three times, sir. Three times. Uh -huh. Yeah, there is some some things which are three times, but Ji. in Jayabadi, in case of cancer, most of the things are three times. Ji. <clears throat> okay. So uh, there is nothing much except for uh, the case history, even in the next page. And. Uh, that you all can read and Baki, it's only instruction that in case of vomiting or anything else or fevers, they must rush to the hospital. So this case, when it came to me <clears throat> and I discussed the case, I felt that the case can be resolved and there is a possibility. As Vandana has told you, there is around 70% improvement in two months' time. And I have sent the photographs of the patient on the group. You can see those photographs. The last one probably is today's photograph with a small mark still in, the, in this region. No, that is not the last one, but... Let me see. Mm. Um, yeah, the last photograph is of today. So the treatment is going on and I'm very hopeful that he will recover completely and will lead, live normal life without cancer, whatsoever life he has ahead. So now any questions any one of you want to ask me? There are some short forms which are used. So I would like to tell you the full forms of these uh, words. One is WLE. It is, its full form is weighted likelihood estimation. So uh, this is a technical word used by allopathy, medical word, a short form, and uh, people may not be uh, uh, aware. Then another word, uh, another short form which is used in the report is RMT. It is 
retromolar trigone. It is a location where your mole and the jawbone, this area is called this RMT. Then HPE. HPE is histopathological examination. Then in the reports, you will find another short form that is SCC. SCC means squamous cell carcinoma. It's a type of cancer which is written there. Then in the reports, there will be a PET CT scan. Now, what is the full form of PET? Anybody, can anybody tell me this? PET is positron em emission tomography. Now, this is a scan done after giving a dye, after inducing a dye into the body or giving a dye or after the, uh, the patient drinks a dye. And it is for it assesses the metabolic activity in various regions in the body. And wherever the metabolic activity is higher, there it will show more uptake, that dye will move more upwards. And this marking can be seen. Now, <clears throat> SUV max is another short form which you will find written. This indicates highest level of trace, tracer uptake within the region. It is used as a biomarker for evaluating the severity or aggressiveness of the cancer. So higher the SUV max reading, more dangerous is the cancerous activity in that place. Normally, below 5 SVUV max, it is considered that the cancer is not very aggressive. But if it is more than 5, then it is likely to be aggressive and likely to be very harmful. So these are the words which you might find in the reports. Now, you may ask, Whatsoever questions you have with respect to the cancer, cancer treatment in gyropathy. Uh, sir, one question is that uh, just unki wife ne bataya ki wo gutka khate hai, sir. Ji. It, it is particularly to uh, this I see uh, he uh, the period of Gutka was from some 1995 or something. Around 2010 or 12, she said. Yeah. So, yes, and after that, he has stopped. And first cancer activity was observed in 2019, which is around nine years. Yeah. So, we can't link that. Had it happened during that period or immediately after leaving it, maybe we would have attributed this to Gutka. But with this, it doesn't seem that it was an effect of Gutka. But certainly, there are so many other reasons which can cause this. Because I know a case of... Uh, Mouth, uh, mouth cancer, it, that person was a doctor. Both husband and wife were doctor in Ames. And uh, they had gone, after the marriage, they had gone for the first time. They be, uh, The person belonged, the doctor belonged to Bihar. So they went to Bihar on leave from Ames. And uh, they had gone in for the Sarah celebration. You all know what is the Sera celebration, Vijay Dasmi. And everyone, everyone eats pan on that day. They mm -hmm. exchange pan and pan is considered to be um, 
expressing your mutual closeness with the person. So Pan is the one thing which is offered and this doctor had Pan. And with that Pan, he felt that he has a cut in the uh, mouth. That cut didn't heal up. And he returned back after leave and showed it in Ames. And the treatment is started and it developed into a cancer, mouth cancer, and the doctor could not be saved. So there are, uh, the reason could be anything. But the, it's a very common thing, people eating pan. There are so many lakhs and lakhs of crores of people eating gutka. Yes, sir. And it is written on the top with a, a very uh, dangerous picture is shown on the gutka. <laughs> Back and but yes. people continue eating it. So there are things which are happening, but this story I thought I'll share. Other than that, the doctor never had pan or anything. He was a very simple soul, but it had to happen, and the cause there had to be some cause for this happening, and that is how it got caught in this. Any other questions, sir? Please ask your question. Shoot. Sir, only one pan uh, he had, sir. Only once he had. Only one pan. Oh, my God. Sir, in Maharashtra, they used to, uh, like, so much pan they will have in Maharashtra. All three to four times, like, a meal they will have in Maharashtra. Yes. <laughs> it is a mouth freshness. <laughs> Sir, one question. Actually, sir, yeah. actually, sir due to uh, use of lime in pan, sir, the first hmm. time user can yeah, okay, uh, hear the problem, sir. Yes. Yeah, Charu, your question, please. The people who are uh, eating gutka for a long time, like 15 years, but kabhi -kabhi, uh, as of now, nothing is happening, suppose. So, is it that it might be till jab tak symptom show hota hai, tab tak maybe the stage in, keeps increasing uh, asymptomatically? What happens, what I feel is with Gutka, uh, your uh, the uh, cells which are around the mouth, in and around adjoining areas, these cells start decaying because of, because of toxicity higher toxicity level, these cells start dying or they start becoming dead. Now this skin for a prolonged period remains dead. So whenever, till the time the person continues, thereafter maybe when the person stops eating gutka, again these cells try to revive or those cells which are within this layer they try to submerge and they want to push out. When, because it is nature, whatsoever is not required, that will get flushed out. So nature will try and flush out the dead skin, which is all around in the mouth region. And in that pushing out process, if some wound remains active for a longer duration, that may turn into a mouth cancer or, or oral cancer if it doesn't heal up fast. So, if we know certain uh, uh, certain closed ones, what can we recommend to them if they are not stopping that habit? So, can they still take something so that they are actually in a safe zone? I would recommend dentalin. I have found this very effective. If they use two to three times, at least those cleansing of the mouth will continue. And it has a medicinal property by which it clears ulcers and other things. So maybe the dead skin may get washed away and may not remain stuck into the mouth, in, in the inner part of the mouth for longer duration. So maybe this can help, but this still needs to be tried out before we. Uh, yeah, it will not do any harm at least. Yeah. yeah, it will not do any harm. But it can do the cleansing of the oral cavity. Hmm. 
ठीक है क्लीनिंग ऑफ द ओरल कैविटी विद दोज डिकेड सेल्स विच आर विच रिमेन परसिस्टेंट फॉर लॉन्गर ड्यूरेशन so if that uh, can be as a as a preventive measure i mean till the time it is not announced that it's a cancer still the mouth condition is very bad which yes. oral i mean in under our supplements which one helps in these cases as an intake oral intake yeah oral intake i told you see uh, you need to give antioxidants mm -hmm. you need to give preventica so these yes. are minimum basic supplements which need to be given mm -hmm. and then if the condition of the mouth is completely white because you will find the mouth becomes completely white because that is skin becomes dead mm -hmm. so in that case if you give this preventica and jc premium high dose then it may flush out the skin move out the skin because anything which is dead or which is rotten and lying somewhere whether it is body or it is your house it will make a bad this thing so it can happen any time so as a precautionary measure people can take uh, jc premium and preventica along with uh, dentaline which can help people not to get into the cancerous activity mm -hmm. okay sir any other question please with respect to cancer you can ask anything today sir uh, lycopene yeah lycopene is also good uh, antioxidant which can prevent oral cancer yes no doubt it is it is it, it is a constituent within jet tomato premium. अवेलेबल लिटरेचर तो yes. पान मीन्स जो लोग खाते हैं उसमें yes. दो चीजें होती है पहली जो होती है वो चूना hmm. दूसरा एक होता है वो सुपारी दे आर मीन्स पर्सन मीन्स इफ इम्यूनिटी ऑफ दैट पर्सन इज सप्रेस एंड इफ बाय सम हाउ बाईर बिकॉज ऑफ अ डायबिटिक और सम बिकॉज ऑफ अ समथिंग देन दैट दिस टू कंटेंट एक्ट एज अ स्टार्टिंग ऑफ माउथ अल्सर सर एंड देन दैट पर्सन मीन्स खाने के हैबिट तो छोड़ेगा नहीं जो डेली खाता है उसके वजह से मे बी मीन्स बिकॉज ऑफ अ सॉल्ट बिकॉज ऑफ अदर थिंग मीन्स जो भी हम एसिडिक uh, पीएच की तरफ लेके जाए माउथ इन्वायरमेंट को वो हम खाते हैं उसकी वजह से भी ये कैंसर का यानी ओरल कैंसर जनरेट uh, हो सकता है दूसरी बात यह है कि कोबाल्ट डिफिशिएंसी जो हम माउथ अल्सर क्योर करने के लिए मेनली विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व यूज होता है और uh, हम लोग यानी मेनली कोबाल्ट की तरफ ध्यान नहीं देते कोबाल्ट इज अ गुड मींस अगर बॉडी में है तो विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व की एब्सॉर्शन कैपेसिटी बढ़ जाती है yeah. तो कोबाल्ट कंटेनिंग अगर फूड हम इनटेक बढ़ाए और उसके साथ बी का भी इनटेक साइमल्टेनियसली जो भी हमारे प्रिवेंटिका या डेंडल जो भी ले इट विल बी मच मोर हेल्पफुल आई विल से वे ऑफ क्यूरिंग कैंसर करेक्ट इट विल मल्टीप्लाई द रिजल्ट विल मल्टीप्लाई नो डाउट यस जनरली हम लोग कोबाल्ट कंटेनिंग जो फूड है वो कम लेते हैं पर कोबाल्ट is actually a uh, starting point for the vitamin b12 uh, absorption and jo uh, body mein uska effect hona chahiye uske liye help karta hai cobal content food kya hai mainly milk okay isme waisa there are uh, more i can suggest you little more that selfish clams oysters 
यस जब मेनली लोग वेजिटेरियन प्रीफर करते हैं इसलिए मैंने मिल्क बोला अदरवाइज फिश इज द बेस्ट सोर्स फॉर द कोबाल्ट सलमान टूना यस देन बीफ लैम डेरी प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक मिल्क एंड चीज ग्रीन लीफी वेजिटेबल्स सच एज स्पिनेच एंड केल नट्स सीड्स एंड एलमंड्स सनफ्लावर सीड्स दीज आर द थिंग्स व्हिच carry contents of cobalt so there are uh, varying this thing you may increase this intake of these foods which can help you in increasing cobalt yeah so jaise d vitamin ke liye magnesium zaruri hota hai yeah calcium zaruri hote hai waise hi cobalt is the uh, uh, essential mineral for mineral. the b12 b vitamin yeah. Correct. Any other questions now, or should we close the class for today? Close the program. Don't you want to know the supplements being given to Mr. Yogendra Singh? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so I'll I'll put out both the prescriptions. i have revised his prescription after 2 months and i'll put his initial prescription which was continued for 2 months so that will give you an understanding that in cases where the relapse have taken three times what should be the supplement recommended and in what quantity it should be recommended to be to make it effective because i had told the family very clearly that number of supplements are going to be very high because this has reoccurred three times and they were ready and they are sincerely following the pres uh, prescription and that is why the result is coming through all those people who uh, do not follow the prescriptions it is very difficult to give them the result because the prescription which is made is for a specific person for his personal needs according to the conditions which exist in individual's body and it cannot be same for another mouth cancer case it will it it may vary depending upon how long this has been happening whether it is the first time detected how many uh, what all treatments he has undergone through all these factors do play a very important role in deciding number of supplements to be given the quantity of supplement to be administered daily but certainly if we are able to revert we can we are in a position to control cancer the cancer is spreading like fire in the human race it is said that every sixth person is suffering from cancer in the world and this rate is increasing with the time and chemo radiation surgery is not a treatment for cancer it is not yielding result but people are still insistent the only thing is anything which is happening within the body can only be cured by immunity Sir, and it can be it Sorry. can be yeah charu so i thought it's for them it's too good to believe i mean it's too good to believe that just by eating some supplements you can cure cancer the only thing which stops them You, you you have heard vandana saying hmm. that the treatment is not harsh the, we are not cutting anybody hmm. we are not poisoning anyone's body and we are not burning anyone's cells we are just providing supplements 
which are boosting immunity and providing all other ingredients by which the cells are producing maximum energy so that body is able to clear cancer and ailment like cancer so uh, i i don't see there are people who are waiting waiting to see people come and tell me sir once we finish off with allopathic treatment then we will come and take your treatment also but the thing is this treatment is can be used as supportive treatment i am not saying if you are uh, if you don't develop that faith that the system works then still you can start these supplements they are not going to do any harm they will build up your body they will build up your strength they will build up immunity they will build energy into the body so that when you get treated by chemo or radiation your body is able to sustain that treatment because 60 to 70% people are said to die in case of cancer treatment because of the treatment they are not dying because of cancer they are dying because of the treatment because treatment is very harsh we all know that if somebody has to fight a wrestling competition then that person has to be trained and uh, his body is to be built up so that he can, he is able to go in the ring and do the wrestling but if you put a untrained person inside the ring with a fully trained wrestler then suddenly he is going to not going to come out live so if you you are going for such a harsh treatment then you must prepare your body nobody pays attention to this part that whether the body is ready to accept such harsh treatment or not i always tell people who are going to start chemo or radiation if i come to know in advance normally i get the cases only in the end after all hospitals and everything is finished or the patient decide themselves that they are not going to take this treatment then only i get cancer cases in that also we have around 60 to 70% results so i tell people if i get a case in advance i tell them minimum 21 days before you should start these supplements they are not going to harm your body they will prepare your body so that your body is able to withstand the chemo or radiation or surgery whatever is done and provide you a better and faster healing so this supplement if you are not ready to use it in a curative method then you should use it in the supportive method as well because you are not losing anything you are only supporting the body with the ingredients which body needs to keep itself strong so one more question yeah suppose it's uh, any part of the body i'm not i'm just just a vague uh, layman's terms stage 3 mm. cancer detect to uh, suppose in some part and the person decides not to undergo any surgery radiation chemo only supplements so yes. can they pull him out yes okay. see i i told you stage 3 stage 4 stage 2 stage 1 mm. is not very relevant in recovery of a cancer patient okay it is the intensity of the cancer mm. if the intensity of the cancer is very high in uh, only one uh, cancer is on in only one organ and it has been termed as stage 1 mm. but the intensity is very high mm. organ is more than 80 90% damaged mm. then reversal may be very difficult mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but if the uh, cancer is spread all over the body but its intensity is low then the entire body can be cured of cancer 
And if people don't want cancer, then preventica is the answer. <laughs> it is serving and it is doing its work. And I'm so happy uh, for designing it. Sir, I want to share an experience with you. Yes, yes. Sir, actually, I said that I had given my parents to my parents, but now I will give them a supplement to them at home. Yes. कुछ मदर को दिए हैं कुछ मैंने यूज किए हैं मेरी फैमिली में भी क्योंकि मैं हिल एरिया में रहता हूं और यहां पे कफ एंड कोल्ड होना आम बात है सीजन में चार पांच बार हो ही जाता है इधर जी जी लेकिन मेरी फैमिली में भी यूज कर रहे हैं विटामिन सी वगैरह ये सब यूज कर रहे हैं सर ज्यादा नहीं करते लेकिन कफ एंड कोल्ड हमें टच नहीं हुआ सर 2 साल से ये तो बहुत अच्छी बात है मैं किसी बीमारी के लिए यूज नहीं किए सर सप्लीमेंट सर इन जनरल लिए सर जनरल लेकिन जनरल हेल्थ के लिए तो दो साल से मेरे फादर उनको नजला रहता था सर मतलब 85 इयर्स ओल्ड है उनको कह रहे हैं बेटे इस साल हुआ मुझे टच नहीं हुआ बिल्कुल भी सर मेरी फैमिली मुझे नहीं बेटी को नहीं डॉटर को किसी को वाइफ को किसी तक नहीं हुआ सर तो ये तो आप ये बात आप पूरे पहाड़ों में बता दीजिए लोगों को नहीं बात है तो बहुत अच्छी बात है सर इवन सीसीआर इज मैजिकल यस मैम और हिल एरिया में रनिंग नोज ठंड के कारण रनिंग नोज इज ए कॉमन प्रॉब्लम आपका आपका ये मैसेज पूरे पहाड़ों में फैला दिया जाएगा बट इट्स प्रूवन सर मतलब डेफिनेटली मतलब नहीं द एम इज टू सर्व ह्यूमैनिटी अनिल सर के एरिया में कोई मंदिर मस्जिद गुरुद्वारा होंगे वहां पर जो है शाम सुबह जा करके आप ये कथा जो है कह दीजिए तो एरिया में फैल जाएगा जिस तरह से रामायण महाभारत और ये सब हनुमान चालीसा जो है पढ़ाए जाते हैं या अल्लाह अकबर किया जाता है उस तरह से आप भी करवा दीजिए वहां पहाड़ों में फैल जाएगा <laughs> ठीक है सर सो लेट्स क्लोज द क्लास आई थिंक वी हैव डन विद डिस्कशंस एंड दिस मस्ट हैव गिवन ए अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड होप टू द क्लास दैट कैंसर केसेस आर पॉसिबल टू बी ट्रीटेड अंडर जायरोपैथी यस सर एंड इट कैन बी ट्रीटेड इन बोथ द वेज इट कैन बी टेकन वी कैन अडॉप्ट प्रिवेंटिव मेथड्स वी कैन अडॉप्ट दिस एज अ सपोर्टिव मेथड एंड वी कैन use this as a curative method so in all these three aspects the gyropathy can support in cancer cases so thank you very much for the class thank you sir thank, thank you, you sir much. thank you, sir. you in the next class <laughs> thank you sir good night everyone good night sir good night